We are moving the super red bristle nose pleco fry from their main tank to uh, their grow out. And how I do it is, there's a big daddy's in there right now, and I have no idea how many babies there are, um, but these, whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, there's big daddy. So these babies were just turned into wigglers the other day. They still may even have some of their egg sacs. There's actually kind of one that's a little bigger than the rest. He was not in this batch. Um, I didn't get that batch out of the cave. Um, I'm going to go get Big Daddy into uh, back into the tank so he doesn't stress out too much and get all these babies into this 55 gallon grow out. All right, guys, we're gonna count them together. Uh, one, two, three, no. But seriously, I don't know how many there are. Um, I know Brissonos Plecos, when the female gets really big, can have over 100. This is definitely not like a max size clutch by any means. Um, you saw the size of the male. He's probably still got maybe a half inch, inch to go. And the female's not even as big as him. So as, um, as she continues to grow, she'll put out bigger and bigger um, or larger and larger batches of more eggs. Hopefully, um, as you can see, that guy right there um, was from the previous batch. And this is her second batch. So I've had her um, since she was, you know, a, a juvenile before I knew it was a male or female. This is her second batch. Um, the dad has had a few batches with some other females. Um, this is the first time he's got to uh, be with a super red. So this is the second batch of pure super reds um, that we have. I'm guessing there's, I don't know, three dozen maybe, probably around less than 50, 30 to 50. We are going to release the super red plecos into their grow out tank. I set up. Um, two sponge filters, a smaller one rated for a 20 gallon over here, and then this big boy is rated for actually for a 125 gallon. Um, and then I also threw a little uh, hang on back up there uh, with a little pre filter sponge and some um, polyfill in the back or you know, pillow stuffing, whatever. So we're going to try to count these as we release them into the tank. So let's see how that goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 32, 4, 46, 48, 50, 52. I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 eternity later. 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 81. Holy 81? 81? Could that be right? All right, let's go. At least the crack on. These are uh, the Calico Bristlenose Plecos, mom and dad right there, and a bunch of little newborns. I just noticed that with wigglers, looks like they're just about to uh, use up all their egg sac. I just took them all out of the cave here, going to transfer them, put mom and dad back in their tank, and transfer the babies to a grow out tank. That's how I do it. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many dozen babies are there, but another good spawn and excited to, uh, to grow this batch up. Pretty exciting day here in the fish cave. I know it's not the clearest, but there is a bristlenose pleco male and they are eggs. Actually, they're wigglers up there. You can see on the top of the cave, all those little wiggly things. That is a batch of lemon blue-eyed eggs. And what do you know, the, uh, the cave next door, Calico, same thing. This time, I think they're hanging out to the left there. You can see there are some bristlenose plecos wiggling over there. And this calico dad is actually one of the babies from the last batch that I didn't grab on top of the cave. And um, there's three tanks, three pairs. And what do you know? This guy over here, there's eggs in there too. Here are some of the super reds that are for sale right now at wildfishtanks.com. Um, all the plecos there are about an inch and a quarter or so and unsexed. I try to do my best to provide, you know, a male and a female, although at this size, it's, it's still difficult. But these are the super reds. As you can see, they're, they're growing fairly quickly. These guys came from this tank and they were born on 8-23. And it is now uh, the end of October. So they're about two months old. And they're already, you know, over an inch, inch and a quarter. And, you know, growing fast and growing healthy on green beans or pashi, zucchini, and different wafers. These are the lemon blue-eyed plecos, the L144A, that are also now available on wildfishtanks.com. Um, these guys are about an inch and a quarter or so, uh, maybe even a little larger in some of them. 
Uh, once again, these fish are only, um, these are born on 9.4. It's kind of 9.4. And once again, you know, less than two months old. And we have some calicos going out today. These are actually being shipped. We got some calicos over here. As you can see, they have this unique pattern coming in. Totally separate line than the super reds. The super reds are not muddy at all. And then these guys aren't muddy, but they have that really cool, almost like a, a puzzle piece or a marbling, uh, marble pleco, as opposed to some of the calicos you see out there. We got another uncaving, some lemon blue eyes. We have a guest guest uncaving. This is Tim. He's going to pick up some uh, some plecos. You can be, you can go up vertical, man. You, you can go straight up vertical. There yeah. they come. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> Yeah, there's a decent little spawn in there. I don't know how many. A few dozen. So tiny. Oh, yeah. No. They're coming. <laughs> yeah, this is great. And what you can also do is try turning the cave upside down. I know it sounds crazy. but Or even like, yeah, upside down like that way. Yeah. And like put some more water in there and do that. That way it forces the dad to kind of reposition himself. And then sometimes he'll fall out because of that. Come on. But you don't need to get the data. I think you got most of them out. I think the rest of them. I think we got a big batch here, guys. This is going to be a calico pleco. Let's get right to it and see how many we have. Um, whoop, dad came. Oh, my gosh. That is a crazy one, guys. Dad came right out about, I don't know how many babies came plopping right out. Oh, my gosh. That was a quick one. I think we just set a record there. Um, dad's looking super happy. Going to get him back and get him nice and fattened up. His bristles are growing in just nice. Gonna count how many we have here. This looks like a pretty healthy batch. I'd say, I don't know, north of 40, I'd say. Um, see if we got any more left here. I think we got them all, guys. That was a quick one.